For more on this, let's bring in Jeremy Heron. He's a scientist and the lead researcher at the International Centre of Insect Physiology and Ecology in Nairobi. Great to have you on the programme. Now, this sounds very exciting. How significant is this discovery and does it completely stop ma malaria? Yes, so um, we're really excited about this discovery. And what we found is that when mosquitoes are infected with my microbial symbiont, um, they were completely unable to pick up and transmit the malaria parasite. Okay, um, and in simple terms, what exactly is um, the microbe doing to protect the mosquitoes from getting malaria? Um, well, we don't know exactly how it works. Um, we've got some evidence that the immune system of the mosquito is actually slightly altered in the presence of this symbiont. Um, so it's kind of um, priming the immune system. That's uh, the, the leading theory at the moment. But there's still some more work to be done to figure out exactly what the mechanism is. And when you say there's still some more work, what is the timeline? How do you get from what you've just, what's been discovered now to stopping 400,000 people dying from malaria each year? Um, well, the, the blocking mechanism is, is very strong. So um, we don't actually need to know exactly how it works in terms of blocking to implement um, the symbiont as a control measure. I think the biggest hurdle we'll have in order to get this out there and, and to make a difference will be to find a way to increase the prevalence of this microbe in mosquito populations. Um, at the moment, we have some populations that don't have the microbe, and some of them up to 25%, where it's probably having a very small effect on malaria transmission already. But what we need is to elevate that uh, prevalence of this microbe up to 40, 50%, where we could have a, a really significant effect and, and potentially break the transmission cycle. So dissemination of this symbiont is, is going to be um, uh, the, the next thing we need to do in order to, to roll it out. And that's something which we're, we're studying in great detail. And we do have some good ideas as to how we might be able to get it out there. And does that look promising, that uh, potential challenge that you have, or the challenge that you have? Yeah, I think uh, we're, we're quite excited about it. There's some really interesting features of this microbe which are going to help us. Um, for one, when a mother mosquito has it, she infects her offspring. Um, so once we get a high enough level in the population, we don't have to infect each mosquito every generation. Uh, mosquito have very short lifespans, so of course that would be very, very uh, time consuming. So once the population is infected, it's, it's sustainable in a sense. Um, we found that there is also transmission from mosquito to mosquito. Um, actually, some of, some of the, the newest results from the team here are that uh, it can be transmitted sexually. So we've got a, a plan to release male mosquitoes, which can't transmit the disease, but can infect females. Uh, and they would then pass it off uh, onto their offspring. Um, so, so yes, yeah, so, uh, some interesting methods that we could use that we're, we're really exploring and very excited about. Fantastic. Jeremy Heron, I look forward to speaking to you in the future when uh, this develops even more. But congratulations so far. And uh, this is great for, pe for people suffering from malaria. Thank you.